Zerati, Zerati, Zerati! The Zerati kid is on the score sheets. How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you guys can see, the D Messi's been released. I'm not reviewing him, not right now, anyways, because the A there's no loan. B is like more than his team here. He's so expensive; it's ridiculous. He is astronomical, and the price of the Zerati. You'll find out towards the end of the video, but he's not actually either 85 uh, team with an informer, do you believe it was? But we're going to review flashback Mauro Zerati today. Um, the Zerati kid, if you guys can remember that, you're an OG. But lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that site, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here, and make sure you click on notification bell as well to be notified of every single review I do upload on this channel. And check out the second channel. Football manager content starts out very, very soon on that channel as Zerati comes out and points to his face right there. Look at this card, man. He's got 87 pace and 88 shooting, 93 dribbling, 80 physicals a bit off. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what chem style we do put on this card. But this looks very, very bright, by the way. Uh, I hope it's coming across in the video a little bit darker, but it looks really, really bright. But um, we're not here about the color of the cards or the color of the, the letters on the card or anything like that. We're here about the ability of the cards. Will it be worth the coins? That's what we're going to find out today. So lads, let's get into the review. And just like that, he's straight into the team and look who's alongside him. He's been extinct, he's been a dinosaur. They've just upped his price range. It is Carlitos ah, Tevez. Tevez is in the squad. If you do want to see a review on Carlos Tevez, you know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below. But we did pick him up to 699. I'm going to lose coins to this card, there's no doubt about it. But uh, he's going to be in the squad today. So Carlitos Tevez is in there. We'll focus on Zerati. Now in terms of Zerati, He's got great stats. I thought Sniper was the best camp style to put on him simply because look at the composure, it's 80. Look at the balance, it's 80. So boost both of them up and the reactions as well, which was 84. And you've got somewhat of a beast on your hands in terms of dribbling. He's got 88 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, so that's already adequate enough. Very, very good right there. 85 position, 88 finishing. It goes to 99 with the stem, uh, the stem, the chem style uh, charge, which is Sniper. 89 shot power, 91 long shots, 82 volleys. It looks phenomenal in terms of shooting category. Passing wise, it's not that appealing when he's got 73 vision or 71 crossing. But he's got 81 short pass. Should be good for the straight and narrow passes. And he should be able to get curving it as well due to the 87 curve he does possess. He's got 97 agility, 80 balance, 84 reaction, 94 ball control, 95 dribbling. And look, if you add the chem style to 94 and 95, it goes to 99 and 99 in terms of ball control, dribbling, and the agility as well, 99. So he should be super fast on the ball and should always be in control, should always be close to his body, and should be really, really good. He's also got 80 composure. Now, the strength-wise, aggression-wise, I do see that to be kind of a benefit to this card because I reckon he's going to be very lightweight. So I don't I don't think he's going to be strong, judging by normally the frame of Zerati's on this game isn't that good. And if you couple the, the, the starter balance, their 80, with the strength and the aggression of 77 77, normally when you've got those kind of stats or the statistical layouts, you get pushed over very, very easily. So it'll be interesting to see that. 84 stamina, 82 jump. And what's his work rate? It's high to low, so that stamina will not deplete whatsoever. He's got a free star week for boys. Oh no. Oh, I thought he had four star weak foot. They changed it around, didn't they? Three star weak foot. That could be a no bueno for this card. He is right foot primarily is five foot nine tall with his 82 jumping. But uh, three star weak foot. That could be the killer for this card. It really, really could. And he's got four star skills. So I'm going to dribble a lot with this card. I can just taste it. And um, normally with three star weak foot, they do have the outside of boot trait. So it'll be interesting to just check and see what kind of traits he does have right now as we go along there. He's got outside of foot shots and he's got flair. So they're two great, great traits for this card. As for playing him again, I'm thinking 4-4-2, you know, thinking 4-4-2. Acuna, see it off into centre mid, uh, out left, out right with Shakiri, striker of Tevez and Zorati. That could be a great strike partnership and we'll, we'll just test that up right now. 4-4-2 uh, formation, uh, keep it balanced. I mean, it's not really gonna do anything. Acuna goes there. Um, Honestly, this is a minigame. This this is literally a minigame. You can't select certain places sometimes. Look at that, man. I was going across. Uh, yes, yeah, I hate this minigame. It's literally terrible. And it's one of the worst things about this game. Look at that. I'm going left and it's going up. I don't get this game whatsoever at times. And the instruction on him gets him behind and stay forward, stay central. Um, yeah, he's got high low work so I don't see why that would be, um, like, not for him or not beneficial in any way, shape or form. That is definitely beneficial, getting behind and stay central, whereas Tevez, he'll drop a little bit deeper because Zerati's going to be on the back line. Tevez is going to be in and around that camp spot, so uh, 
I'm looking forward to this, man. I really, really am. In terms of the free kicks, I'm not having all no centre backs in that. Um, didn't uh, Zerati used to have a good free kick? Oh, is it Tevez? Actually, he's got 80. We'll put on Zerati, boys. We'll put on Zerati. Corners can be uh, Di Maria. Di Maria can be on corners. Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you this bit. Penalties. Adios Tevez. Actually, look at that. 94 penalties. We'll stick Zerati on it, boys. We'll stick Zerati on it. Why not? So, that being said, let's test Zerati in game and see what he's like. I am looking forward to this. Looking for movements. Any movement, boys. Got to pass it back because there was no movement. David Luiz, Tevez, Acuna, Zerati. I mean, that's a good start. Stop and turn. Oh, I couldn't get around him with the strength. Oh, couldn't get around him with the strength. Carlitos into Zerati. Look at this. Oh, the world was that volley, man. It was weak. Oh, this, this could be money, boys. Oh, not. A little back heel, a little back heel. Zerati, Zerati. Zerati! The Zerati kid is on the score sheets. Am I confused here because his name pops up Maru in game? But Maru Zerati is on the score sheet. Lovely control, lovely juggling right there. Puts it in the bottom bins. Come on! Oh, he's got it straight from kickoff as well. Go on. Little one, two. It's always going to be on. Tevez. So it's off. Oh, it's actually on. It's two. Zerati has arrived. His finishing seems quite good. I mean, it's not like two free shots. Oh, whoa, whoa, with well, the power on that, boys. It's like two or three shots and he scored twice. You love to see it. Tevez. Could he get a chip from there? Oh, it's in the bar. Oh, man, I thought the keeper misread it and he did. Tevez, out wide. Di Maria, first time. Dude, oh, Patrick, what a cross that was, man. That was that cross was hit with so much power. I didn't think anyone would get on the end of it, but Zorati with the dive and jump and leap and header. He looked like a salmon. An absolute salmon, man. Look at this cross. Oh, what a diving header that is. One thing about this card as well, his movement is very, very good. Look at him off the ball here. He's pointing where he wants it. I didn't even trigger that. Lost the ball there, but Tevez has won it back. Let's see if he makes a run by himself. I'm not triggering it. He has. He's in space. Turns. Good save. Go on. Got space. I thought he'd read that drag back, man. Maro Zerati. Near post. What a save that is. I should score that, though. What a save it is. Tevez. Go on, chance. Oh, I should score that as well. Go on. Oh, nearly, lads. So there we have it for Maro's the righty, lads. Now, I've got to see after the first game, I pretty much fell asleep. I, I, mean, I scored a hat-trick. I blitzed the first game, banked a hat-trick, and Zerati was class. Second two games, very inconsistent, and the games were very boring. I literally nearly fell asleep. But in terms of Maro Zerati, he's a good card in this game. For an 87 rate card, I believe he plays better than his rating. Of course, he's got certain consequences against him. Strength-wise... I don't think he's that strong. He's got a free star weak foot as well. It does go against the cards. And um, that's about it, really. His balance is good. His composure is not too bad. But sometimes he does miss easy opportunities, which could be the composure. But um, I'm not too certain. In terms of the pros with his cards, you've got the pace. He's somewhat fast, somewhat not fast. Now, he's got the acceleration. He doesn't have that breakaway pace where he maintains it and he keeps it up. So acceleration, definitely one. Pace, probably a little too strong far on the, the kind of stretch there because of the sprint speed. Now, the, the finishing is good. The shot power is better. Shot power is absolutely fantastic. So shot power is what I, I would say right there as a pro. Long shots potentially, but long shots I didn't really try too many of them. The agility, definitely one. The dribbling in general is great with uh, Maro Zerati. The speed of the drag backs, the speed of the ball rolls, speed of the coming out of skills was very, very impressive. Uh, however, strength, aggression, balance, uh, they come in like a free, but... Um, he wasn't very strong this card and he did get pushed over quite easily. Now this could be his aggression, it could be his strength, and it could be his balance individually, but I reckon it's a mix of all of them lads, and even the frame of the card, it's quite lanky. Well not even lanky, it's quite like fin, you know? Like, I say fin like fin, like a shark fin, like fin, like fin, like stick fin, you know? Um, but that's just my accent, so uh, yeah, 5 foot 9, and um, yeah, he's a little skinny. 
a little skinny in game, so he's got a skinny frame and he does get pushed off the ball quite easily. As we have already been looking at it for quite a while now, it's a 9.0, which um, it, he's deserved that. He has deserved that. He's a, uh, he's a blitz striker, he's an he's a informed striker, and when he, he does get a chance to impress, he definitely does impress. But like I said, those last couple of games, um, I don't know what happened, boys. I don't know what happened. He, he was, um, he just. He was the big part player. You know when you get those big part players that just pop up every now and then? He was like that, which, for the price of the cards, which is literally, as I'm just about to recap that now, I think it was just under 100k. So you look at the card right now, it's actually 80,000 coins. That's not really too bad for a 9 rated card. So I'm going to say a 9.2 in terms of value for coins. I reckon that's actually not too, too bad. As for the enjoyments, I'm actually going to give him a rating of of a 9.3 so he gets a 9 9.2 and a 9.3 because enjoyment wise in the first game i was having loads of fun with the card you would have seen that as well it's just in the second couple of games the fun kind of did deplete so um yeah i'd probably give him a 9 9.2 and a 9.3 in terms of the full chance this would be a start or a sub because i see it as an impact sub, this guy would make an impact, you know, he's got the, the shot power of trouble keepers, he's got the finishing of trouble keepers, he's got the agility, the dribbling to finish uh, to trouble uh, defenders and stuff like that, and he's got the movement as well, by the way, his movement is absolutely phenomenal, and that will be one of the pros today, gives play, he played free, scored free, and uh, assisted at a zero, and you'll be able to see the match ratings just below, as for the links, uh, Carlos Tevez, a very good link to this card, Carlos Tevez gives him... Is it a perfect link? I believe it's a perfect link, boys. So um, he does give him a perfect link. Buenos Aires to Buenos Aires. Yeah, it gives him a perfect link, boys. So that is all gravy right there. In terms of the pros to cons, you can see them on your screen. Traits was outside foot, shot and flare, I do believe. I'll just make sure I've got that right. Uh, yeah, outside foot and shot and flare, which is not too bad for the traits. You can see the under slash over 100k bracket below in comparison to other players. Passing. I'd probably give him a passing rating there. Uh, of a seven it wasn't that impressive it wasn't that bad in terms of shooting i'll probably give him an eight as well uh physical probably a seven it wasn't that impressive and the drilling would be a solid eight so he, he's kind of a, a solid card in this game but he's nothing too too special in terms of skill moves his four star the weak foot's three star he's got height low work rates five foot nine tall i just preferred foot is the right key pro I'll probably say he's dribbling. He is a good dribbler in this game. And the key con, possibly his three star weak farts. It does go against the card quite massively. Uh, rating per position and the best game style. I stuck a sniper on him. Does that take him to the best rate he could possibly get to? Uh, sniper takes him to a 91 center forward. Marksman takes him to a 91 center forward as well. I don't know what else. Uh, possibly Deadeye takes him to a 92 center forwards. Uh, Deadeye would be the best rating per position for this card. Um, I do believe so anyways. I'm just having a look at the other options right now. Uh, what, what does Maestro give him? Where, where is Maestro boys these days? Right, it's there. Uh, Maestro also gives him a 92, but honestly, Maestro might be the player, but Sniper. I'd stick a Sniper on him. Takes him to a 91. Centre forward, left forward, a 89. Striker, an 88 cam, and a 90 rated left wing and right wing. And for the review of the team, that's going to be it. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, a like would be appreciated on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around. So make sure you check out the second channel as well. Football Manager content will be going on there very, very imminently. So make sure you do check that out. Drop a subscription over there to be prepared for all the videos coming. But lads... If you have enjoyed, like I said, a like would be appreciated. Oh, you had a great day today. Um, those last two games, nothing really to shout about in this review. And um, I'm probably going to go to sleep now. They, they bored me to death those last two games. They really, really did. But lads, thank you very much for supporting the video today. Hopefully, and I will catch you all next time.